Hi, if you're the person in charge of cleaning warnings in a Revit model, you're probably familiar with the highlighted lines overlap warning. This is the result of uh, area boundaries overlapping to each other. And cleaning those warnings requires to do a lot of manual work. Rather than do this manually, we can use a Dynamo script to clean those up. I'm going to run the, the Dynamo script here on the side, uh, making sure that uh, warning type it's selected and uh, after running it um, the warnings now are gone and the boundary lines that were overlapping are now shown as a single simplified uh, line let me walk you through the steps of building this script this was built for Dynamo 2.0 and it requires Bang, Archilab, Clockworks, Rhythm, and a note called uh, Group Curves by Testing Water available on the Package Manager. Uh, in the, the BAM package allows me to filter the elements involved in a specific type of warning type. In this case, I want to select the highlighted line overlaps warning. Then I'm excluding non-orthogonal curves because the method I choose to rebuild the curves works only with straight line segments. Then I group the model curves by the area scheme in which they are placed. Next, I group the curve by orientation using the absolute value of the curves vector dot product. On a side, I have to create a dictionary of the project area schemes by level. I obtain the view types element IDs and concatenate them as a string with the level names to produce a dictionary of area schemes by level. Then this is where the magic happens. Using the testing waters group by curve, uh, allow me to sort the curves by view type and orientation. Watch the list lays in here because we have to make sure that the list structure is preserved. The last two groups is about obtaining the area views and the sketch plane inputs to build the new area boundary lines. Here we obtain the elevation of the new curves and we find the level and combine them as a string with the view type element ID. Then we obtain the area views in the dictionary. Then we extract the sketch points from the level properties of the area views and we put it all together in the clockworks area separation from curve and delete the all overlapping segment which cleared those warnings. So it's a little long script, uh, but here is a large view to understand how they all fit together. To prove that this works, I'm going to create a new uh, warnings in a different area scheme using boundary lines. These boundary lines are going to get overlapped and you see that warnings start appearing. The orientation of the line uh, doesn't matter. It's going to pick them up. Uh, I need to make sure that I close the Dynamo script and don't save it. This is going to uh, clear some of the cache information. Open the Dynamo script again in the drop-down list of the very first node. Make sure that you are selecting the appropriate warning. Uh, hit run. And goodbye warnings. Thanks.